So, in conclusion, we spent the last 15 minutes on quickly reviewing, first of all, the concept of stop loss limits, um, linking stop loss limits with value at risk, linking stop loss limits with what we call the concept of a median expected likely trading loss, uh, emphasizing the concept that both VAR and stop loss limits are there to ensure, are there to ensure that we protect capital, not there to be a nuisance or to get in the way of normal, rational, reasonable trading behavior. Uh, once we did that, we looked at the whole concept of calculating uh, PSR limits or pre-settlement risk limits, and we looked at the primary question, you know, where do PSR limits come from and how do you calculate them? And we, we spoke about the fact that in general, the practice is the market calculates them of the average. Our suggestion is that you work off the maximum. Even if you don't work off the maximum, even if that's not possible because of competitive pressures, there is still a case to be made for reviewing the underlying volatility that's used to calculate PSR limits as markets react to changing environments. And specifically in times of high volatility, it's important to increase the PSR limit utilization, cut your stop loss threshold because the median trading loss is going to increase, the band is going to increase and reduce your VAR limits. That's what's supposed to happen.